Hello, art friends, Dr. Beck here. Welcome to Art Ways, where learning is fun. Today, we're gonna to learn how to draw a robot and use pencil and shading to make it look a little 3D. Oh, hi, Mr. Albie. It looks like you're ready to wire up your own robot. Dr. Beck, that looks really cool. Dr. Beck, eso se ve bien. Let's get started. To draw a robot, all you need to do is draw basic shapes in any kind of shapes you really want. I went with some uh, cubes. You could do circles, you could do ovals. Um, and as usual, I sketched that ahead of time. And I'm going to be using a heavy pencil today. You could use a regular number two pencil. I will need to do my shading, a tortillion stump, which is this uh, tool right here. If you don't have one of these, just take a piece of a paper towel, fold it up, roll it up like a cone, and you can use this to shade with. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna start by putting this robot's head in. And then I'm gonna put two big eyes. And then I'm gonna give this robot not a straight mouth, a little bit of a silly mouth. So I wanna make my robot fun. I'm gonna give my robot some ears. Now, I'm going to now make the head look a little 3D. So what I'm gonna do is from the point right here, I'm gonna come back on a little bit of an angle. And from this point, come back on a little bit of an angle like that. And then I'm gonna have an antenna in here. So I want that to start from right above the headline here. So it's floating in the middle of the top of the head. And then I'm gonna pull this line like this and like this. So it doesn't cross over that line there. I'm give it a little antenna type of head right there. Now, one other thing, I'm moving quickly for time purposes, you could pause this video along the way. Now, I'm gonna put the neck in and I'm gonna stop and give it a little bit of a curved line in the bottom of the neck, again, to create a cylinder. I'm going to put the body in here and I'm gonna have it come down like this, like this. And then again, from the point, I'm gonna come back and back and stop halfway through the neck and do that. So I'm creating something that doesn't look flat, looks a little bit three-dimensional. I'm gonna put some shoulders in here. I could even come back here and do something like this to make the shoulder look 3D. One, two. I'm gonna give an arm, an arm, and again, a little curve on the end instead of straight. An arm, an arm, little curve on the end. And now when I put the hands on, instead of starting right here, I'm gonna come up into the arm a little and behind it to again to give it the illusion that it's a little bit 3D. There's one, there's two. You could put whatever you want on your robot. You could put dials, you could put any kind of designs. I'm gonna be putting something on my robot that kind of appears like a little door, a little secret door there. Okay. And then I'm going to add some legs. Again, a little bit of a curve. little bit of a curve and now I'm gonna do one foot at a time I'm gonna have it come up from above the ankle from back there you can make square feet rectangle feet I'm going to add sides to the feet and follow that shape again to create that illusion that that's a 3d foot I'm gonna put this foot behind it a little. Put 
there we go. And now with my pencil, I'm using a nice heavy leaded pencil. You could use a number two pencil. If you have a heavier pencil than this, a number six is nice. I'm gonna start shading. And where do I wanna shade? Well, let's make, I'll start with a leg. We wanna make it look a little 3D. So at the edge, I'm gonna come in with the side of my pencil and make it dark and make it dark. Now, right now it just looks like an outline, but we don't want that to look like an outline. So I'm gonna come in lightly next to the dark with my pencil. And this is where I'm gonna use my tortillion stump. And you're not coloring with the tortillion stump, you're just pushing the lead. Use a little bit more there. And if you need to erase it, went over your line, just erase. And because the body looks like it's coming over the leg, I'm going to add some lead right there as well. Use my tortillion stuff. Now everything on the bottom of the foot is going to be in shadow. So that's going to be like this, darker. Then the edges are going to be just a softer in color. Like this. Okay, now we'll get right under here.
by adding this shadow right here, I'm making the top of his body look a little bit overhanging. Okay, there you have it. I'm gonna give the middle of the eye some color. The only thing that's gonna have color, and I'm gonna make them red with a little bit of a highlight in there. So I'm gonna draw the highlight first in the eye, and then I'm going to color the whole middle of the eye red. Okay, there's one. Nice and dark. And here's the other one. I think we'll give it a little highlight right in here. Nice and red. And for this particular coloring, I'm pressing dark on my pencil. Sometimes we use those sides, but not for this. I'm gonna go. Oh, there we go. That looks cool. Hope you had fun drawing the robot today. And don't forget, be smart, include art. See you next time. Bye. Adios.